Hello there, I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. It's really nice to be here. And on your device screen, computer screen, or maybe even your big TV, depending on where you're watching, I uh, always like to answer your questions on this live stream. So if you have any questions about audio whatsoever, how to make things sound better, how to process tracks, i uh, got a really interesting question today uh, that I'm going to cover in just a moment. Head over to community.musicradiocreative.com. Go ahead and join up and post your questions there and maybe I'll feature it on a future live stream. Cyber Larson uh, started a great thread in the community uh, with uh, the title Beyond Normalize. I'm editing some shows for the radio station that I work for, mastering if you will. I took a sample shot and you can see that when the DJ is talking the volume is considerably lower than the songs. Normalization only raises the songs, not the dialogue. The file is four hours long. Is there a way to bring up dialogue without doing each one individually? It's an ongoing project that I have to do week in, week out. Yeah, we do often get those radio shows. Look at this. I've got an example here that I made earlier of, uh, yeah, the music being really loud and then the, the host voice being really, really quiet. And how do we deal with that without overcompressing? Some really good thoughts in this thread, including from Mark Denham. Uh, he's posted some fantastic ideas. Play with compression, but a hard limiting would be a good suggestion. Dive into those ideas in just a moment. Uh, preview window will help you configure. Yes, indeed. Great ideas, Mark. Uh, and the simplest way uh, he suggests is with single band compression. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. Some really good ideas here. Uh, and then Mark goes on later and is supposed to talk about mastering as well, but being careful with mastering uh, because it's a very powerful tool, uh, including the loudness maximizer, which can really crush your audio. Uh, and, uh, and then he goes on to say, which is very, very relevant. Uh, good points here. I'm very happy to feature these points, Mark. Really, really great. If it's an internet radio or FM station and doesn't run through heavy compression, you can afford to be heavier with your compression. But bear in mind, if you're going out on a commercial FM station, with a big OptiMod compressor, you might want to do very little to the track because the compressor will take care of it for you. Uh, but let's learn about this. So uh, this uh, link I did between uh, Katy Perry and Girls Aloud is not going to win me any awards, but it will uh, serve as an example. That was Katy Perry and California Girls. <laughs> What a great song. I'm Mike, and this is the Mike Russell Radio Show. And now a song I haven't heard for a long time. Here's Girls Aloud, Call the Shot. Yeah, so you can hear definitely the music overpowering me there. So let's just take a, a little sample here and do some effects. So first of all, hard limiting. Uh, if we were to hard limit, we'd want to hard limit to about minus 12, because you can see the peak of the, the host speaking here is minus 12. So that would be my easiest and first suggestion, hard limiter under amplitude and compression in the effects menu. Minus 12 dB. Uh, let's have a look at preview and see what this is doing. Oh, can you see that? Rather, rather compressed. We can probably go a little bit less than that. Input boost down to zero dB. That's why it's looking so compressed. Now we're getting something that's reasonable. And now we should find, if we uh, zoom in just a little bit, uh, that the, the host volume is actually matching the music volume. Let's, uh, let's have a listen to this sample. That was Katy Perry and California Girls. <laughs> what a great song. Is Girls Allowed Call the Shots? Yeah, so it's a lot better. I mean, we could definitely ease off if we don't want to be, or we can actually go, no, I think we could go more aggressive, minus 15 dB. Is girls allowed? Call the shot. So it's doing a lot of limiting there, but you'll see if I apply that across the whole radio show that uh, you can now not tell, well, you can still see the, the dynamic in the speech. That is very heavily compressed. You might want to go to minus 10 on the hard limiting or even less than that. Minus 10. Uh, that's at least getting the music level to the same volume. Remember that is really compressing the music though and taking a lot out of the dynamic range. Another way would be just to compress the speech but then you're not going to get all of it because if uh, the presenter is speaking over the start of music that's going to be quite difficult. So maybe just apply this, have a listen to how the music sounds. And that's actually not too bad, especially if it's going on an internet station. And then finally just add a little bit of single band compressor like so. Uh, so then uh, we're going way too harsh with this compression at the moment. Let's go back to default. And we'll go for a compression, compression threshold down at minus 20. A ratio of 2.7 to 1. Now you see we get more dynamic range there. Now the attack, you see if I pull the attack down, it's very flat line. But if we give a 10 millisecond attack, much more dynamic track playing there. Can you see how it makes it more dynamic? Let's listen now. 
That was Katy Perry and California Girls. Now that's much better than what I started with, uh, which you could hear the difference. That was between the amplitude of the music and the speech. So hard limiting, single band compressor, a good way. As Mark mentioned it, I'm also going to throw in uh, the mastering effect, but uh, no vouch from me on the uh, the... <laughs> validity of using this. Mastering is a very harsh one. I usually go to default and then I usually check on subtle clarity. That helps me get started. Let's just uh, get zoomed in on the bit here and let's make that a mirrored zoom so we can see what's going on here. And loudest maximizer, crank it up to 80. Whoa, that's harsh. Crank it down a bit. Yeah, you see that's that's helping. That was Katy Perry. Oh, the, the one thing you need to roll off is the reverb, unless you want that. That was Katy Perry and California Girl. So yeah, again, Loudness Maximizer doing a great job. Add on some Exciter, you'll get a really nice kind of crispy sound that uh, many FM radio compressors already add. That was Katy Perry and California Girls. <laughs> that compared song. to I'm Mike and this is the Mike Russell radio show and now a song I haven't heard for a long time is Girls Aloud Call the Shots so you can hear the difference there so yeah some good ideas there hard limiting definitely to start with see if you can get away with that single band compressor in the amplitude and compression of the effects menu and if all else fails you might just want to go to special and mastering in the effects menu of Adobe Audition I hope that's helped you out. It's a common issue where you have pre-recorded radio shows uh, that need to be edited and leveled nicely. Uh, so you've got three tools in your arsenal there with Adobe Audition to go ahead and use. I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative. We work with radio stations, including internet stations, to create fantastic sounding jingles. If this is something you would like, go to musicradiocreative.com radio right now. <laughs>